Uh, welcome to the Select Board Board of Health meeting October 17, 2018 at 7 o'clock at the Municipal Office Kitchen in this, um, <laughs> 8 Conway Street. Um, um, we're going to skip the Pledge of Allegiance because we don't have a flag in here tonight. <laughs> and the first thing I'd like to remind everybody that early voting starts on Monday. Um, so if you would like your early voting, you can come on and do that. Um, the minutes... We don't have minutes, do we? Yes, we do. Yes, yes. we do. Look under shape. that top page. Okay, from yep. the minutes of October 3rd. I make a motion um, to approve those. I made percent. some additional <laughs> corrections. I saw a couple of Carolyn things. Carolyn confirmed yep. with me your meeting dates in November. Yep. Okay. So you're going to go two weeks um, without a meeting. Yes. Okay. You know what? I'm okay with that. Oh, you're okay, okay. with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all okay with that. To so make a motion to... Oh, you made the motion? I'll second. Any further discussion? No. All no. those in favor? Aye. 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 So, so, do you want to do? We don't have that here yet. So, so let's do Yankee Candle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, you have a whole uh, bunch of <clears throat> licenses. To are they are you, the one dollar one day licenses? No. Yes. Yes. For? yes. Yes. And um, <clears throat> two for the pumpkin ball at Yankee Candle. Okay, I make a motion to. Um, um, approve the one-day liquor license for the pumpkin ball on October 20th for Barbara um, Valentine, yep. Janet Boston, and Lee Phillips. Second. Or for the Hitchcock. Well, that was Rich for, yeah, that was for, yeah, there was, the business. good name the business there. Um, oh, okay. There's one. You know what? I'm sorry. Yeah. What am I doing? Roll back the tape. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I'm looking at these and I'm like, oh, this is like three Look at the things. agenda. Okay. Yeah. So this is the one day liquor license for Hitch. I know, I'll go back Hitchcock. to the agenda. Hitchcock Brewery for Yankee Candle Pumpkin Ball. Second. Any further discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. That, Aye. That's for October. October 20th. Thank you. And Hardwick Vineyards Winery for Yankee Candle Pumpkin Ball on October 20th. Second. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, the Franklin County, um, Massachusetts Rotary Foundation Festival of Trees at Yankee Candle for November 29th of this year. A second. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then the one, dicker, the one day liquor license for the trustees of Deerfield Academy alumni event on October 20th um, of this year. Second. Any further discussion? No. Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Wonderful so, events. So let me, um, I'll start the signatures and then you can have this. Thanks. We have to keep a copy. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I got mixed up. I was looking at this thing, and this doesn't look right. But you're right, I should have followed the agenda. That's okay. okay. It's easy. <coughs> Thanks. Thank you. Do you want to say anything about what's going on? Yeah, I have not heard of the pumpkin ball. Do you know? <laughs> yes, no, I absolutely don't. Yeah, I'm sure I can talk about it. So the pumpkin Cinderella ball. Cinderella going to be there? Yeah, who is? Cinderella. Uh, the, yeah, the pumpkin ball uh, obviously is an event we're pulling together uh, to drive traffic and something to the store. Uh, we're going to have obviously beer and wine there. We'll have pumpkin carving contest. So we'll be accepting oh, right. pumpkins Thursday, Friday, and Saturday up till noontime. So uh, that contest will be giving out awards based on ages. I think it's say zero to 16 and then 17 and above. Um, there'll be three prizes each awarded to each group. Um, top prize will be candles for a year wow. um, for mm. making candles. So well, just a great opportunity gosh. to drive some additional looks up into the store. We're also gonna be doing things. We'll have crafts there. We'll have paint a pumpkin with Santa and Mrs. Claus where kids can come in and paint like a small um, pumpkin great. with paint, which we do every weekend. Weather permitting, we'll have horse drawn hay rides, so on and so forth. So just a lot of fall festivities throughout the, the season, but we really try to, every weekend throughout the fall, we really try to focus one main theme for an event, and this this, this weekend is the pumpkin ball. So, yeah. Great, thank you. Well, that's exciting, thank you. It is, you're welcome, I'm not thank really you. sure what to do, but I'm gonna, are you gonna come back tomorrow, or should you want these right now? 
Uh, whichever is easiest. We can come back tomorrow yeah, and I can have Barbara choice. come back, pick them up. Otherwise, I'm getting up to make a coffee. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay. Um, I'll Thank have you. Barbara come tomorrow and grab them from you. Excellent. Right. Did you want to speak about the uh, sewer rates? Sure. Um, so, <clears throat> had another meeting, which I believe short the other day, but um, with Dave Prickett and uh, moving along pretty quick we we talked about he, he's getting close to finishing up our workshop is on the 23rd six yep. o'clock here for um the public and the advisory board and um they've and, already and posted they, so yeah. study has posted their they're, meeting. so they're good so they're going to so come post a meeting for the select board great and um so we discussed you know we're, we're we were zeroing in on the needs and about somewhere about the costs and um, of course they're staggering you know we, we always knew it was a lot of money um, and he's kind of broken it into three phases which he'll go over at, at you know at our workshop but um, we need to start moving up to well first to get at least um, we're gonna need to have uh, a rate high enough that we can apply for USDA grants and we're almost there we're not there but we also are going to need enough money and um, to fund these projects so um, if we did uh, I don't know how much you want me to share but um, we really uh, well we're going to talk about the sewer rate yeah and we're going to next week we'll set it but right. he's going to go into that detail yeah so I'll let him go into that detail maybe then um, so I guess the goal is to is to talk about um, where we need to be in the next few years and we've done a really good job of building up you know enough reserves to run the plant for a year that was a one goal and then to start putting money and capital away for um, starting to tackle these projects and um, you know obviously the rates are going up you got to you got to raise the rates to, to pay for the projects so I sent you the Montague article oh god yeah so Montague is up 71%. 71% well that's the budget not, but the rates, the rates themselves yeah. were different they, yeah. they didn't know what the rates were but substantial and it's right. everywhere yeah, the, these plants are old, and you know they were all put in in the '70s, and they, they need work. And um, so Dayprig is pretty close to kind of wrapping all of that up, and and um, we have to, you know, we'll have to decide, you know, as a community, how much we can tackle in the first <coughs> phase, and then second phase, and how we fund that. But um, so he plans to just break down uh, by the assessment needs, like you showed that slip before. Yes, and then he's got. Um, I'm going too deep, but he did break down, you know, into phases a little bit of, uh, you know, just based on the criteria that we had set out I that were pretty tough, and just kind of breaking down which which products will go, which projects will go in which phase, and really South Deerfield's obviously one of the. I mean, they're both plants have a huge need. It was for um, the discussion after you left, and, and yes, it's getting and into the nitty-gritty, pun intended. Yeah. Um, and then I left, but they were re-looking at the projects in order, Great. and with you know Keith was there as well, and talking about current problems. So, mm -hmm. um, so I think the initial sheet we had will be different. Probably change. From yep. When you saw. meet with Natalie, tell her that we're trying to line up the USDA mm -hmm. grant. I talked to actually they've been to, talking to them too okay <clears throat> and I talked to uh, Steve so about that, that tonight can, too yeah perfect Felix so um, it will be yeah. it'll be interesting to uh, hear, listen to Dave Prickett because I, you know things that I've read so far and everything mm -hmm. nothing's changed from three years ago that we paid that money last time uh, we still have the same problems uh, we have the same needs and <clears throat> then we we as uh, Sewer commissioners have the same problem: is how much do we raise, and how quickly? Mm -hmm. You know, nothing there has really changed. Um, well, it'll give us a good roadmap now as to where we're going to go. I mean, I feel pretty confident on them um, putting an mm -hmm. asset tag on every single part of that infrastructure, right. both plants and collection systems, and then we can. Um, we've got a dollar amount for each project now, and we can, you know, we can juggle how we want to do that, but. Um, but you're right. I mean, it, we know that the projects need to be done, and they're going to need to be done, and it's going to take years to do. But you know, just to throw some numbers out, if you were to do everything, you'd probably have to double your rates or triple your rates. Well, it depends you'd have to on triple how you your rates if depending you on how you financed it. Correct. You know. Correct. I mean, if you bonded for it, you could spread it out so that the increases right. wouldn't be that. that 
that well, drastic. They're, but. they're probably going to double by the time we get done with what we're going to tackle in the next few years, I would say. I don't, I don't yeah, see how else you're about, get around that. You're talking about a time frame of, you know, probably <laughs> five to ten years. So, mm -hmm, right. you know, so we could, there's yeah. a lot could be happening in five or ten years. You so never know what will come around for, right. for grants or that, but... Yep. Right. So, um, he said that we're, the, we're, and maybe you knew this already, so just stop me, but that we, we look based on our income, household, uh, median household income, and population, we would be eligible for about 45 percent mm -hmm. grant, he said. And I, I right. was surprised because I thought only the grants were only available to lower well, income I'm communities. Fixing, so. our fixing our fixing our wealth factor. We do, I just talked about it with Steve, and he's going to work on that. So our zip code, we get Waitley's zip code number out of our income wealth factor. And we've got to get that sorted out for the school foundation budget. So yeah, I don't think that did, did any of the conversation, well, I can ask these questions yeah, we'll go ahead. Yeah. next week yeah. or when we have I asked meeting. them to send Quick. me something Monday that mm -hmm. I can send out to everybody ahead of the meeting. I mean, one of the, the big things that was troubling to me last time is we, we went down this road where we had a, a a price tag and then there was you know talks of this grant will lower this and then we weren't able to get that right I, I would presume or I would hope that we don't go down that road again in other words oh, jeopardize Kip, the Kip. forward uh, forward no, movement you make of this plans, project no. but, but you have to mass works is is one of those ones that's repetitious you have to keep, keep going keep going i mean river I road guess, took us three years we to get mass road. works as an as an option frankly because i guess what my right. my question carolyn is that if if i don't want to tie the i guess the the progress of the project to the avail no, availability no. of Correct. grant i want I, to make sure going to have right. but to even get into like you know, right. USDA stuff, you need to be at least 1% um, of, of median household income. Mm -hmm. what, what a person, what a household pays for sewer. Mm -hmm. We're not there yet, but we're, I think with this next rate setting that we do, it's we're going to, we're going to be there. We're going to be at least 1% of that. And um, so, you know, the, I don't know if you had seen this chart yet, but this yeah, kind of gave you to cover, you know, what we need and, to do. But and that, if we just, if we have a dash, under what we do is you can knock door to door and you get the figures straightened out because we did not qualify for the um, senior housing loan, you know, um, subsidy because they said we didn't have enough of our, you know, our income. Mm -hmm. We were not income eligible. And what we did is we went street by street, knocked on doors, and took the information and corrected the information. And the other thing that's going to so happen. You can do this. It just takes extra work. No, I think I think where we set the rate this next time, if, if you know, depending on where you guys weigh in, will be there. And I think, um, you know, and this is based off a 2010 census. We have a 20, you know, the, the next census is coming by the time we get around to funding all this stuff. Um, you know the numbers will change some, but I think I think we'll be there. I think you know w what we're doing, what we've done in the last since I've been on the board, and you know, mm -hmm. not has nothing to do with me, but just right. in that time frame, we've you know we finally started to accumulate um, some reserve, and um, we're we're going to be about that to run the plant for the year, which is about a million dollars, um, and we're going to be able to start building some some money to pay you know pay some debt service to to do these projects. So. Well, it doesn't. We don't. It doesn't cost us a million dollars to run the plant now. It's is pretty it? close to that. It's eight, eight something. I think eight. What was it eight oh eight last year? Well, I was looking at something, and it was around five hundred thousand. But I think a big increase was with the sludge hauling because that was a That's huge. That's been a ton. Yeah. yeah. We're looking at doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think That's we're at. Think yeah. For yeah. FY nineteen. It's getting close. It was eight oh nine is what we budgeted. I think. Someone coming in for here. Yeah. So you okay. Well, anything yeah, else and that was like reserve and, and money for capital, whatever yeah. might come you. up. You know, you have a, uh, a bad pump. Uh, but it should be a good meeting. Yep, I'm looking forward, forward to it. Forward to it. Okay. And, and next week we'll um, let's see. We will have yeah. And we'll next week we'll have a hearing and we'll set our sewer rate, and day that'll be a day the after the workshop. Shop. So that'll be helpful. Yeah, it I think will people, be. It'll, it'll, public can come and hear what what we're doing and why we're doing it. Yep, so. I believe I, I agree. Okay. Great. Um, 
It's 7.15. We should have a hearing for flammable liquids at Walter's Propane. I heard the door open. Did you get any more information on that as far as... Um, I've given you packets about that. I have this... I'm, you each have a packet with the... Um, I didn't see them. No, I'm sorry. Here it's, it it's, it's, it's all in it's here. It's all in yep. here. Yep. Sorry. So I'm thinking of something else. You can read that or I could read it or whatever you... I had. Okay. Yeah. So, we should wait till he comes in. Here he is. Oh, here he is. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Grab a chair. We're cozy tonight. <laughs> Good to see you again. How are you? How are you? Good. Hi. 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 The Deer Deerfield Select Board will hold a public hearing to consider an application for a license pursuant to Mass General Laws Chapter 148, Section 13, made by Walters Propane to store 30,000 gallons of propane on the property located at 225 Greenfield Road, Assessor's Map 123, Lot 23 in South Deerfield. The hearing will be <coughs> held on October 17, 2018 at 7.15 p.m. in the main meeting room of the Town Hall located at 8 Conway Street in South Deerfield. We have is that a problem to have? We, uh, no, off we're, the we're off we the We duly notified the public. Doors are okay. open. <laughs> All right. Um, a copy of the license application is available for inspection weekdays at the office of the select board, A Conway Street, South Deerfield, during regular business hours. And we are meeting in the kitchen. <laughs> but it has been posted. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Hi. So there's an increase in the amount of propane you wanted to store. Do mm -hmm. you want to explain to us briefly yeah. and where this increase will take place? Well, since we since our original license we had when we started there, the main reason is is we added a few trucks, okay. and, and of course the trucks have to be considered full at all times. Uh -huh. And the new truck we bought was four thousand gallons. And then we had storage for 50, 50 gallon tanks because it you know but they were empty but sure. but we had to call them full at right. the time of the original. Always be, sure. And what happens is fifty to us became a small capacity tank. So the minimum we put in now is a hundred. So we're doubling the uh, the amount of fifties we used to have because they're not fifties anymore; they're hundreds, they're hundreds. now. And one of our trucks is an 800 gallon truck, and when we sell it, when we, there'll be another truck after that one. So we'll be up to four trucks. That one, that one will have to increase to the what they are now because the trucks get bigger as we buy them. Yeah, that's the only thing. So it's going from 800. That would go from 800 to well 3,000. Okay. Wow. So, okay. so so these trucks are stored in a, on the premises inside a cage area, mm -hmm. and then and of course the so, the so-called full empty tanks I'm going to call them whatever yeah. are, are stored there also, but we're at the point where. What do you want to know? <laughs> yeah, okay. He's the man. Going to answer the rest of the question. Oh, no, he's he's telling us about. He's just telling us about the. This is Rachel. The, we're so Hi, Rachel. Uh, no, the real, the real boss. The real boss. Yeah. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing, everybody? You can bring in some more chairs. Thank you, sir. You can bring in more chairs. Yeah. So that's one, that's one of the issues. Yeah, yeah. it's a bigger truck. So so there's not. You're not looking to put in a large capacity no. tank. It's just the large the. 50s, right? And I'll be but uh, here, uh, the, new the only thing is, I heard this in town that a few people thought that that's what it was. Yeah. Well, it's a big, yeah. the yeah, big right. tank going yeah, right. or something. Yeah. But, but actually, I never received even one phone call. So no. no. I, I well, this is just a matter of adjustment here yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. assured him yeah. earlier. I said we hadn't heard from anybody. So, so oh, it's good. mainly mainly just a uh, bigger trucks that you're storing there. I bought a new truck. Yeah, a 34.99. We need gallon to capacity seat. truck. Yep. I can't keep I'm going. looking at my current yeah. license. I'm like, Oops. I want to make sure everything is done right, like I've always done. Thank you. And Here. that's no, the bottom line. Really, that's really, that's one of the empty things. And, 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 and I, I totally understand <laughs> about the empty, counting the empty tanks as well. Yeah. So okay. that's fine too. Yep. Thank um, you. Good. Um, mm -hmm. It's good to have you come in and explain it, so it's on camera, <laughs> so that people understand that you know you're you're storing the tanks that you you install, yeah, and that those in fact have doubled in size, um, yeah. because you don't do the fifties, I guess anymore. Well, we have more hundred fifties, yeah, hundred pounders, twenty-four gallon tanks, 
50 gallon tanks and the 120 gallon tanks. And there would be some 500s on occasion and 320s, yeah. just various sizes. Right. But those usually go out right away. They come right. in. So they usually just pick them up from right. the jobber up down in Greenfield yeah. and deliver them. You know, but it might be job. just in my possession when an inspection comes by or whatever. Of course, you so have to be cover prepared. yourself. That's why I'm yeah. prepared. No, that's so that's wonderful. Yeah. That's Thank good. you for being so willing to be compliant. Sure. Do you want to make a motion? I'll make that motion. Any, we any, approve this. Well, any, oh. um, Public comment? I don't think. Nope. Okay. I'll make the motion that we approve this. Oh wait, we got to close the hearing. Yes. Um, I make a motion to close the hearing. Second. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I make a motion to approve um, the license increase. Second. Um, do, you, do you want the gallons? Um, the it's gallons. For what was that? Three, thirty thousand gallons. Thirty thousand. Uh, to store. Okay. Yeah, hey, you'll see my just, notation yeah. there with yeah. the paperwork there, what I kind of spelled it out sure. as. Mm -hmm. yep. I just no. want to make sure the motion includes the um, amount, so yes. there's 30,000 pounds. I second so, that. So any further discussion? Nope. And none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 What do you think, Rachel? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Where's your friends? <laughs> Great. Right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks. it. Yeah. Appreciate your business. Thank, well, thank, thank you for you. Uh, coming in and being so good yeah. neighbor. So we've been uh, one minute late here. But oh, traffic, yeah, I just kind of flying in here. So. No problem at all. Yeah, yeah. No, no problem. I make sure my, my facility is very clean. And it is. It is. It's really know, neat and tidy. I call it my flower garden, actually. It's good. Because I do plant a lot of yeah. old bushes, and you've seen it. I'm yeah. Sure. yeah, it looks oh, great. Oh, no, it's very yeah. neat and tidy, so I really so, appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, so I can mow the grass all the time. and. Keep up with everything. That's yeah. good. That's good. good. Anything we can do for you guys, let me know. I so, appreciate that very much. Thank you. We'll get that okay. process for you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Pat. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. here for us to sign to me. Really? I don't think so. Did you take anything? Maybe on the back. Look on the you know, it looks like an old one. She prepared the folder, so I think there should be something that we have Unless to sign. It's in there. Um well this is your you last one. She typed up a whole bunch of licenses. Is it in with the other ones? Okay. We'll find it. Yeah. We'll find it. And I frankly think you can stamp it. So. Yep. Given huh. that you probably. I'm um, <coughs> here. This is our sign from the 2013. Is there is there one in there? It's another copy of here. Oh. Do you so have it? I think I just said you gave me the liquor one. Yep. That's all I do. Maybe I have. Maybe it was in though. I'll give you every piece of paper here and I don't see it yet. No. All right, well, give this to Wendy so it doesn't get yeah. lost. We'll put it back in the bag. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll put it in the bag. Uh, well, I, I don't want it. No, I'm keeping all the licenses stuff. together. As a matter of fact, oh, gosh, Trevor, I forgot to bring in all that paperwork for you. Well, I guess the signature authority may be just the chair. Signature of licen licensing authority. So maybe that's all that is. Now we signed one all ourselves, all, all three of us somewhere. But just if have Kip sign something, mm -hmm. oh, that's yeah. what why we got. You, why don't you? Oh, you don't have it. Okay. I'll have. Well, I'll just, just you know, Pat. We'll, we'll have to that. manage this tomorrow. If you need something different, we'll come in and yeah. sign it. Okay. Okay. So don't worry. We, it, you're voted the increase. So if you happen to have an inspection. Mm -hmm. That's the new one. Yeah, well, you're I'm done. Yeah, you're legal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's only a spot for one yeah. 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 So that's fine. Be, yeah. You're 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 okay with us. Because I don't think that you're. So, so probably um, just as of right signs. now, so, so if fine. they want something okay. different, just yeah. Because so, the other one, the original one. Yeah, the original one was signed just by Board of Selectmen. Just one signature. So you're good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do you add this? Okay. Just a cent. And for four copies. Okay. We're good. Okay. We're all set. All set. Okay. okay. Yep. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Good timing. Yeah. yeah. Nice In to and meet out. You. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, thank you. I will see you. I know, right? Yeah. Where are we going to be? We have to find a new keep spot. To find a new spot. Uh, don't go to Jerry's no, office. Do it on the way. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I used to call yeah. my office. Jerry. We're doing the evacuation oh. planning. And, uh, Very good. Yes. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, we are. We're uh, just last night. I had the meeting on the evacuation planning, mm -hmm. and we're working on that. So one of our things that our goal is to do is to organize all that because we have the we put a tower up, and um, so is to organize our evacuation planning. So when we get organized, we'll, I'm going to organize the ham radio people. So, yeah. um, and I have to tell you, as long as mine's preset, I'm okay. I'm really not too swift. So. Um, I did it because so I could complain to Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. So we'll organize you. I'll reach out and we'll organize. So that's really great because yeah. if we have communications down, we're really we want to be yeah, prepared. Chris Myers, Perfect. Yeah, very Perfect. Okay. Well, we're organizing up and down the yeah. river yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, we'll do the rest. Yeah. yeah. We'll do oh, really? Yeah, oh, wonderful. Yeah, we'll the two oh. Up there. Well. Yeah, that's me. We'll be in touch. Absolutely. Thank Thanks. You. Good to see you. Take care. Thank, Thank you. Good night, everybody. Um, next on our agenda is spraying at UMass Fields on River Road. Um, I just, if you guys know, I, I received a couple of phone calls about from the people that live around the Beaver Drive area that um, they're concerned that um, the university is spraying their side with um, some sort of hazardous material because they've witnessed the people applying the, the sprays in full hazmat gear with you know, respirators and stuff. And oh, that's So nice. they, what their complaint is, if they can smell it, they don't know if it's good, bad, or whatever, so they would like to know if there's anything that we can do to, to what have, they're spraying. Well, not only what they're well, spraying, but a, can they notify? Well, as a Board of Health, yes, yeah. Board of Health, we can ask them to For a uh, report. Noti we want to, know to be notified, and then a, we can also issue a cease and desist order until right. we know what's going on. And so we should sure. do that. Should we have I mean, honestly, get a hold of? They yes. should notify yes. the neighbors yes. of what they're My goodness. Do. The whole reason we did this mosquito district is so we don't do spraying. Yeah. We do lava siding and we target specific species that only carry disease and the whole thing. Because mm -hmm. we're trying to protect our bees and our good bugs and get rid of the bad bugs. And for them to just randomly spray is is terrible. Well, we'll yeah. find out what they're what yeah. they're, they're obviously testing sod and they're testing, right. you know, chem, you know, uh, weed spray and all that kind of stuff. But if they're in full protective gear, yes, it'd, be, it'd be nice to know what, what they're spraying. They shouldn't be spraying if there's drift, you know, mm -hmm. breeze and any, yep. any of that other stuff. So well, one of the persons said they went to complain to find out, and the, and the person said, well, the wind's not blowing, but he said, well, I could smell it in my house, so if I can smell it, there's something in the air. There's so. a drift. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, you're supposed to one of the things you're supposed to spray very early in the morning because you have the least chance to get drift. Sure. But if they're spraying in the middle of the day, that's, you know, people well, are, we should need warnings and stuff like that because people are out in their yards and all kinds of stuff. All right. So it's can we ask for a report from them? I'll, uh, yeah, go ahead. Don't, like most businesses, the EPA usually requires you to have uh, hazardous materials listed yes. uh, that you have. I mean, wouldn't they? They should I, I have would think that, that they would have something like that right. that they have to give you. Sure. But yep. Because it's the university and it's part of state agency and yep. they don't have to feel like they have to well, they do. as much. They yeah. do. Yeah. Yep. They, they absolutely do. 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 Let's, they do. Let's but, find right. out. So it's I, I'll, ask, I'll ask Wendy to contact whoever. And, and give us a report on what's yes. spraying. Because okay. they shouldn't be doing that. Especially okay. we're making such big efforts not to you know do anything to our bee population. All right. Okay. Uh, next is the Frontier Regional School District in Union 38. Designate a select board member to attend the four town meetings. So this is, um, I've been a little confused as to who, I guess Tom used to do all four towns, right? Wow. For Frontier? He volunteered. Right. So we want to find out who is going to, um, I'm, I'm on the school committee doing it for the school committee. So I don't know if there's anybody else from our town that would want to do this school. We're talking, we've moved on from the spraying to the um, Franklin County. I hope this is being recorded because I'm depending on you for the minutes. So. <laughs> the, uh, the Frontier in Union 38 um, right. designate for a select board member to attend. So I think the Union 38 is covered. I think it's Frontier that needs um, 
Don't look I at believe, me. <laughs> I believe it's Frontier that needs a person to be nominated from the town. So from what I understand talking to Darius is that, and, and just looking at, at yeah, understanding the laws, just, yeah. is, is that each town would put somebody t forward and those people would go to the meeting, the school committee meeting, and at Frontier, and there would be a vote um, by the members who would, who would represent all four towns. And, you know, if we work this out ahead of time and there's only one person from all four towns who wants to represent us, so be it, and everybody agrees, but there may be people that, competing people that want to do it. So we, we'd want to put somebody forward from Deerfield, and um, it can be anybody that we, you know, designate or that's interested in doing it, and then rely on the other three towns to do the to same thing. I think it has to be a select board member or a... Or a finance committee or something. Or? I'm not certain. I sent the regulations out. I didn't bring them in with me yeah, tonight because I, I didn't designate. know you were going to get into the nitty-gritty of this. I'm, uh, honestly, well, because we've got to pick somebody and put them forward. Honestly, I, 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 I can't take one more thing. I, 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 I know. I'm out three or four nights a week. Same here. Are you sure that it has to be a select board member? Or? I, don't, it, I think it, it needs it to be a It was limited. Designate. It couldn't be anybody. It had right. to be somebody... Um, well, I would I just, think do you have the regulations? I sent it out. I can I think of get them. Do you have an idea when they're meeting? Not yet. Okay. They're no, they're they, did do set, that. they set the meeting date, and I uh, sent it out. Was that the 23rd? Oh, well, you know, there, there's, there's, there's actually several, and there's the, they're gonna do, they were going to do the IAs first, but they decided maybe they're going to do the teachers first instead of the IAs first. So no, there's the multiple. Date, I thought they set the date for all the four designees from each of the district towns to come meet to vote the representative among the towns to represent all four towns for all of the contracts. I have two Fridays in November free and so who does want to do it? And the, and the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Or not. We don't I, have to yeah. have anybody. Well, we don't. it's just I feel really bad but I, I honestly have, have like no nights to add something in. Unless we did it early, like 5.30 no, or something. No, they already set the date. They oh, they already set, set yeah. the date. Okay. But we don't, Do you I don't have know the dates? Do you know? I thought it was the 23rd. But I uh, 23rd of October? Well, you know, that's the meeting. We just got the notice we, from the tech school for the same thing. Oh. And right, November 13th. So uh, um, let me read this. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Letters were sent out on September 21st to all four uh, town select men select boards oh, requesting representatives for the upcoming frontier regional teacher and instructional assistant negotiations and the upcoming union 38 teacher and instructional assistant negotiations last negotiations tom feiden kevitz represented the four towns in the frontier regional negotiations please let us know if he'll be re representing us again this year um, as we'd like to put this on the November 13th Frontier School Committee agenda. So at that oh, meeting, oh, okay. then they decide. one person or all steps. four will come and decide right. who's going to be I on that. I, I, yeah. I just I thought there was a subsequent meeting that night. But there's multiple. I'm, there was but a if subsequent that's not the night, message and, and that they actually go into December. And and then but I, there's multiple dates. That first date needs to be the date regardless of when they started that school committee meeting date has to happen has after the to contract happen rules, yeah. so that we so that we would put somebody forward and i don't really know um well how about the fellow from um conway or is he already on the school committee is that what i you said? don't think he's going to do it from the school committee side that's phil Cantor. yes he was interested according to tom hodgson from conway so we could check in with Tom and see if he's still interested in it. But or you still need to send someone just to this meeting, or mm -hmm. not. Right. You know, so if no if one we don't have go. someone that we're going to put forward, I don't think that it really matters, you know, to follow through. Well, but I yeah, but this is a huge impact it's on huge, our finances. Right. Yes. right. Yes. Kip, why don't you go? Do you have meetings? I or only need too many people. All right, we could. <laughs> yeah, but Kip, you I, have I, to I'll go to these things. <clears throat> you have to go. Like tomorrow, um, are you going to go to the Furcoff meeting? Tomorrow? For the for the non planning Cause planning we, meeting because Wendy can't go tomorrow. Yeah, you're. Well, mm -hmm. you're the, I told you that. Yeah. yeah so when is primary rep? What is it during the day? I no, it's at night. Night. <clears throat> it's six. What is it? Five thirty, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's five thirty. But isn't that's their the non planning planning 
Okay. No, it's the council. It's a it's a, it's a, a John shares. John O'Rourke yep. shares, and they okay. they have weighted vote need. We, for you're our, you you okay. jump to another goes. subject. Chair right. goes usually. That's why right. I can't remember when meetings are because we talk about ten of them. Well, and I'm the alternate anyway. So, but it's the pre it's the pre budget one. Five thirty. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's five thirty, isn't it? You can check. I'm not going to be here tomorrow, so. I forwarded it all to you, Kip. Yep. And plus, you get it independently from them. Yep. Plus, they called me, so they probably called you as well. <laughs> no, nope, they didn't. Oh. But I did get it. Okay. So. I'm pretty sure. It's yeah, it's an important there. meeting, so they we have a, a higher weighted vote than a lot of communities. So they do we they need the quorum particularly for this. So back back yes. to the original. Sorry. <clears throat> should I um, should we reach out to the finance committee and see if any of them are interested in representing Deerfield? You to see if they can vote yourselves. on. Oh, <clears throat> I think that would be a good idea. Well, I mean, they usually have go. an interest. Somebody should go. This is right. seventy percent, nearly seventy percent of our I'm going budget to be there is school related. From the school, I yes. can I can reach out to some of the uh, finance committee. Can you see people, if someone can? And I'll I'll see if I can. Yeah. And then we'll see maybe, if somebody's interested. Maybe um, in <coughs> Jeff Upton or Skip <coughs> Olmsted would go because they have experience in the school system. And that is on the 13th of November. Yes. Well, I thought I had to be a select board member to attend <coughs> before town meeting right. to designate somebody from there. But I'll go, I'm, I'll be there at that right. anyway. And that's so at you, Frontier. Wear the second hat? I'll wear the second hat, <laughs> and then I'll nominate somebody. Trevor, that's out for them. Yes. Okay. Yep. For, what time is it? Uh, it is, uh, let's see, I think it is, it didn't say, but usually it's 6 o'clock. Okay. Can I ask a question of infor just information, Carolyn, from your past experience? Has um, that delegate, that representative, Tom Feinkevitz, in the past come back and talked with the No, because... There's most most of us are on the executive board for the uh, Franklin um, County um, Selectmen's Association. Oh, right. So what happens is, you know, we just have you know. Discussion. Okay, shop there. Don't say no. Me. I know, but <laughs> I meant we. Yeah. This is why Tom is sort of volunteers to do it because you know in the in the discussion of. Okay. You know what, how we're going to do budgeting and stuff. Okay. He ends he up. He gets this. He gets the sense right. of what's going on. All right. Right. Okay. That's. And, and you know that we talk <coughs> about Pioneer School District. We talk about um, Mohawk School District and how you know the differences are and stuff like that. So, I mean, we sort of get <coughs> updated on what's happening countywide. And then the problem is no one wants to. No one really goes to Franklin Tech. Um, you know, because they're so bogged down in our own school district that to go to a, another school district is, well, is kind of... Well, what's that? I was going to say, while we're on that, they're, they're also asking for a representative I know, in their right, negotiations. That just came in. And, um, they set the meet. That's the 23rd. I was able to uh, have somebody, uh, David Thiel, was doing uh, oh, our representation good. for good. Deerfield good. on the Franklin County School Committee. So... That at least we have some representation there, but not as a not as a negotiation. Right. But. Well, I mean that was one of the problems that we talked about is that there, it was really hard to find someone to go to the tech school one mm -hmm. because the, the negotiation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I don't know. It's just hard in general, but it's just one more thing. And, and Here's a hint, public. We need some volunteers. I know. <laughs> I know. Please mm -hmm. step up. Well, certain things are limited. I know, yeah. I get that, but if they fill in some if they somewhere fill else, the then we can. Don't need right, to do, exactly. Right. No, it's just that's a good segue right segue. into the right. South County EMS yes. Oversight Committee. There you go. Oversight um, Committee. That's I put this on the agenda because I was, um, uh, I'm at that point where I think it's time that I can step away from that and. Um, so you don't think we should go another? No. To another one more budget. No, I think it's well. Each person could make that decision, but I think it's time for me to step off. Um, I think it's in a really good spot right now. I, I believe in it. Um, they just, you know, it's just been really great. I, it's been such an honor to understand that. I came in completely not knowing EMS and uh, understanding their, you know, how they budget, how they take care of our, our residents, um, what they've done, you know, um, to take care of our community, 
they're doing a great job, and I think we all, <coughs> all did a really good job of kind of coming across and building relationships with the other towns and getting this, you know, building built. And um, they're obviously they're in the need of another. I don't want to go into their whole meeting, but they, you know, that that international truck got towed again last week, so they're looking to hope hopefully bump that that up that replacement up a year. Um, but I just think, you know, as okay. much as I would love to stay on that, because I've learned so much and I really cared to be there, um, there's so many other needs, and I think it's time I step back from that. And um, I know Matt Russo was interested in maybe taking my space, um, but I'd have to have another discussion. I wanted to hear from you all, and obviously it's your vote too, so I, who would represent well, we, us? Well, we were, remember, we were only supposed to be temporary. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, I, I mean, I don't have a problem giving up at one more committee kind Well, of if thing. it wants to be a staggered kind of step away, it's fine too. I don't, um, I don't know how you all feel, but... I was hoping to go through one more budget season just mm -hmm. to make sure everything is stable. Well, we'll still be the well, fiscal agent, right? I mean, somebody yes. still needs to do that. Yes. So well, we could, uh, I, I mean, I, I enjoy it as well, and it's not a big time commitment for mm -hmm. me. That everything works out well, so I'd like to, you know, Continue on for a while. That's what so. I why don't we? Stagger this why don't we removal? change? If, if you want to step away, why don't we transfer? Because okay. you would be a voting member instead of a non-voting member, and then it would just be the two of us. Well, we still well, need no. We still need a fiscal agent. Yeah, we and still. Can't be um, I mean, I don't mind. I certainly am not shy about saying if I have a problem and that bringing something up. I don't need mm -hmm. to be a voting member, but I, I think at staggering it might be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I, so I know, we'll yeah, we can have Matt come on. Or, yeah, I mean, I mean cause just, we, no, all of us are out. I don't want to speak for him either, but I did have a conversation at one point if he would be interested in getting yeah. back on. I mean, he we said certainly, he would think about it in wood. We certainly are wicked stretched thin. Yes. I can put this on the next agenda if you would like. I, yeah, I just wanted to start the conversation. And so see. then we could start, you know, turning over because mm -hmm. I, I certainly well, it sounds like it. the two of you are interested in staying on at this time. He, Trevor's just saying he. I just yeah, I just thought right. it would be I helpful to, to stay I mean, I understand it. one more budget season because then we're in the new building. We've sorted out the expenses for the new mm -hmm. building. Yeah, he was just and we, for himself. And I, yeah. I knew yeah. we're going to have to replace the truck sooner so, than later. Yes. So, it just doesn't make sense to keep trying to no, repair it. Should no. I put on that you will appoint somebody at the next yeah. meeting? And maybe yeah, and I could and reach fine. out and see if Matt is truly interested and would have the time. Yeah. And if not, and you, you know, just, we could look at other people. Yes, yeah. yeah. right. Yep. One of the things I just wanted to make sure is that, um, you know, we had <coughs> good collections. Our, our mm -hmm. collections are stable. I mean, they seem to be. But yeah, it seems to be really. I mean, it's just uh, a you know, fantastic I mean, you're just organization. Wor I worry about that. That's all. Because yep. because the you know health insurance. I'm um, you know the insurance stuff is in flux yeah. sometimes. <coughs> so whatever. Okay. Um, 11, 15, 18 is a special town meeting. We're going to close the warrant, I guess. Um, yeah. And then we'll I thought we closed the warrant on uh, kind of we No, we're going to sign it next week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, no, you opened it. Did you close it? No, we did, we did we close wanted, it to the public. You want to really lock it now. <laughs> yeah, we right. closed it to well, the public, a, but I just I make a motion we those. actually close, close, close it for the first sure. I wasn't here last time. That's right. We did last meeting, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Just making sure. Can, just re can I just take a minute to read yes. this too? Yes. Yeah. Um, um, this is what we have, and um, so are we sorted out small. with some? Um, and well, then I have some comments. I I sent it before the meeting <coughs> to Lisa Mead, and I'll just fill you in on a couple comments that she had. The only the only thing I, I want to make sure we'll, we'll just make sure we have sorted out article for the yeah. capital improvement. Um. Okay. Uh -oh. Hi. Yeah, I'll talk about that after Hi, you all read it up. We can talk. Okay. It looks like they want to look at it. I'm happy to answer questions. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> um, have we decided okay. how we're going to fund some of this stuff? Yeah. Do you want it? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to know. Okay. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, okay, so first of all, there's a typo. <coughs> Nobody mentioned that. In the yeah, first paragraph, it's actually Thursday, not Monday. Oh, thank you. Um, for Article 1, which is uh, funds uh, for shortfalls in the mm -hmm. Regional Senior Center, the South County Senior Center, Wheatley and Sunderland are voting their shares, our share. I believe, it, I have this number, but I had... 
I another think it's number. Accurate. Oh, 72. Okay, uh, 10,143 dollars. I'll double check that, I, make sure yeah, that's right. Thank you. Um, second article, um, this is, oh, we haven't talked about it yet on the agenda tonight, but I mm -hmm. have the, I previously sent you a memo about uh, creating this um, Town Buildings Advisory Committee, mm -hmm. and um, Sunderland completed a study, and based on their, the number of buildings and their cost, we were figuring about fifty thousand dollars would would cover that, and we already have twenty five thousand for the church for the church feasibility. So um, it could make sense yeah. to do that. So that was you know various people gave me their opinions about what it would yeah. cost. Um, but Sunderland paid thirty five thousand for their their study. Uh, the third article is um, additional anticipated funds we will need for ongoing. Uh, well, it's a shortfall with um, landfill money because we had a DEP letter. We had to sign. Know, we, we had to do so. more work there. Yeah. Plus, there may be more work. So, oh, Brenda and Kevin, we thought that they was a safe number. Drilled the wells 000. recently, right? I want to talk to Kevin. He said maybe last week or so they were drilling the wells. Mm -hmm. And so, did they find more that they have to do I don't more know work the or something? Results of anything? No. Well, and, well, well I'm just wondering where this money's coming from. We had to go a little bit deeper from. to get water right. because yeah. that was the problem. And is the that water the table. is that the additional cost that <coughs> is going to be incurred for no, what they're doing? No, we had the regular. Different. What we had appropriated was the money for the and we the have two wells. To, we have to yep. monitor it all the time. Yeah, I think this. Then there were two other items that have come up. Then we have like little sinkhole yes. things that need yes. to be fixed. Yeah, we've discussed and that's, it. And this we is, signed it earlier. And this money would is used to fix that stuff. Is this that money, end? no, this money is to pay for the two other contracts for the work that's being done by the engineering company. Already. Yeah. So, hmm. or, yes. <laughs> um, we're not going to do the select board selectman thing because you've lived this long without it. We can wait to annual town meeting, okay. right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, article four. Um, that will be the new the new capital improvement plan committee bylaw, which um, isn't changed that dramatically. I'm working with Lisa on what to actually put on the warrant. Okay. So it may it may be filled out. We want to be simpler. Mm -hmm. We're trying it's not to eliminate the way it's. Been yeah, submitted. but what we want to do is eliminate the posting. That stupid <coughs> newspaper post. The things that trip up the town ERG. Right. Every time you try to do something. And, yep. and nobody has, I mean, so, hardly anybody So I hope to have this before, well, I'll finish. But I hope to have yeah. it before you for next, I, I have to have it yeah, before you for next. Yeah. And I will. Okay. Um, and the la let's see. The last one is to bring the Conservation Commission oh, right. back to where we want it to, to be. To five members. Yep. Five yep. members. Okay. All right. And I that think good. that is it. So far. So I'll double check that amount for the seniors. Yeah. And we were we were talking about um, possibly something for the additional costs for the roof project, but, but that um, worked it, out to be it's only it's eight hundred eighty eight dollars and forty two cents, and it fits into a reserve fund transfer category. Perfect. And in fact, I have a form you for you to sign if you want to do that. Yes, I would. I would rather do it that way. It's yeah. silly to and, do. And well. Skip was yeah. interested in that as well. Great. Seems silly to have it as a town meeting. Do you want me to sign that? Uh, that that's the trend. That's well, you well, can. We don't, the, we don't actually. This we don't town does vote, this right? as a procedure, but right. it's not required. It's usually just finance committees, but yeah. it's just something. Right. I make you're a in motion. The no, you could. No, yeah, I make inside. a motion that we um, mm -hmm. uh, approve the eight hundred eighty-eight dollars and forty-two cents for police station roof repair project as a reserve fund transfer. Second. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Do you have a clean copy you want us to sign or not yet? Maybe on the oh. town meeting. Oh no no. Oh, yeah, no, yet. I'm gonna work not with Lisa on the language for the okay. capital improvement plan. Uh, okay, uh, the Mass Cultural Council grant forty seven thousand dollars. That's forty yeah, forty-seven hundred. Oh, forty-seven hundred. That's just like at an yeah. Hey, wow. I that's know. That's yeah. the circus coming. Sorry. Be great. I make a motion to approve. Um, it's actually authorizing me. To, it's you're <coughs> authorizing me to be the signatory for this. This is just a okay. flat amount of money that, that we, we get, get every, year, right? every year. Right. Make, make that motion. motion. <clears throat> Do you want to second? I'll second the motion. Any further discussion? All those Grateful. in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, speaking of grants, Wendy, um, could you just, you know, because Katie's on maternity leave for the MVP program, 
um, can you just reach out to that Brian who sent you an email? Because I was talking to Margot Mansfield today, and um, Brian hasn't gotten anyone from uh, from the town. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry. You know the, the our grant that we got, yes. MVP grant. Yes. Well, Brian is overseeing it. It's Brian Zelder or Kelter or something. He sent you an email because uh, I I got CC on it. Mm -hmm. And, he and just, what is he wanting? Oh, he just wanted you, he wanted you to like acknowledge it or, con or return it or something. So he had some kind of contact with you. I don't, I don't know. I've been in touch with so many different people since she's well, left, and, and I, d I have responded to everything. It's, so it's, He's like the ecological when did you last project technician with person. Oh, this was, uh, when I talked to Margot Mansfield, she's... How long ago? Because I responded to... Oh, this is today. Oh, wow. So, because um, I, I guess he sent you something right. last week. All right. Can you... For yeah, I'll, I will. That I'll, would I'll be, be very helpful. I'll, I'll, I'll look, inundated. Yeah, okay. I'll look for it again. I might have deleted it. That's the only thing. Okay. I'll try okay. to get rid of stuff. Next thing on our he list is comments <laughs> to the ZBA on Five Industrial Way for Contractors Yard. Let's see if I can No. Um, I don't have any comments. Was that from the roof? You don't have any comments? Matt, or no problems. Okay. I think I would say uh, no concerns. Well, I did. Um, I think one of the things that we, um, you you were just going to park trailer trucks, right? Correct. Yeah. And well, that, and empty that, trailers, but registered trailers. Yeah, and that's pretty much what has happened before. Well, this is a, a new, well, a couple, um, let's see. From my understanding, they're, they're taking a, um, there's a new entrance and exit, correct? That's got nothing to do with the trailers. That's not where the trailers come in and out? No. I thought one went through there today and took out a bunch of telephone poles and wires. Uh, yesterday, but that was actually a FedEx truck. Uh -huh. So FedEx actually is delivering to our building. The and they went through there by accident? Mm -hmm. The contractor's yard is about storage of um, Yankees empty trailers, okay. which did not go through. Gotcha. So that's a, a separate thing, but um, okay. as far as the... Um, trailer storage, the Yankees been storing trailers there for, I don't know, maybe a year and a half or so. Yep. They rent the space from right. Deerfield Industrial, who owns the property. Okay. And they've been renting the, the space there to store trailers. They sometimes, I think they're up to 20 trailers they have for storage. So if you drive by there, you see the trailers I've seen the them out there, yep. And so they're... Um, Is the plan to how how long is the plan to do that? Do you know? Okay. As long as Yankee stays, right? Where it's open ended. As far as the lease goes, the yeah. lease is month to month. Okay. So we don't have a long term lease, but if Yankee was to enter into a long term long term lease, then we would do a long term open, lease. We don't need the trailer storage in the back for our own use. Yeah, uh, we so have it's just a, kind a of open lot. space because that was a big parking lot original, Very right? For, for well, all the employees years yeah. ago, right? For so on program. the inside, towards the building, we have the FedEx trucks, the UPS trucks, the common carrier trucks, our trucks, our trailer, all, all that's all towards the building. Yeah. This contractor's yard is, um, from what I understand of it, is if we're um, storing trailers there that are not being used by the bi the main business, which yeah. is Atlantic, yeah. so these are Yankees trailers. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. And they've been storing them there, and we store trailers over at um, the other property as well. Okay. There's been trailers there for years. And that, is that the only use you think you'd use that for? That area is pretty much just, you're not planning to do anything else there with it, with the, with the uh, contractor's yard designation. I think you need that, right, to be able to park. That's this the whole idea. The thing that's brought up by Dedic is that they want to have the contractor's yard designation of the property there. I see. And so we need to get a ZBA permit yep. to have Yankee store the trailers there because Yankee doesn't own the property. I'm, I'm I not see. sure the yep. uh, details of it. Okay. Yep. That's how I understand it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any problems nope. with it either. So. I, remember, though, that if we... 
we have to write some comments. So yeah. just say no. Of n we have no concerns. Okay. Uh, ver versus leaving it blank because yep. then they think we don't respond. Okay. I'm right. I'm filling that in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Great. Um, next thing we well, we already did the reserve fund transfer. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry no, for making no. comments. It's okay. I, I won't let no, him talk I, about I, it. I, I, liked, I like to come anyways. It's a little bit uh, quiet tonight. Huh? It is. It is. <laughs> Unless you want to buy some books. Yep. I'll go you got to wait next week. <laughs> oh, okay. Next I'll week. Uh, wait. Maybe I should bring books. So what's the deal with the books? Yeah. Not it's, the, the, the library has a book sale every year. Oh. Um, so this year it started space. early, huh? And they take donations <laughs> for the books? Yes, they do. Yes. I have a oh, lot yeah. Oh, they would love your donations. Oh, they would Well, I think they're done now. Well, I... Well, yeah. they'll, they'll still. Sure. Yeah. Well, they'll what they do donations are funny about that. They usually keep taking them. Well, what yeah. it is is they have to sort them. They right. like to sort them yeah. for a different. Yeah. I didn't know about it until Matt told yeah. me that there's a book they do every year. Yeah. This time of year, and um, they'll be um, in a new spot next year. Um, and what they don't sell, the Belchertown Library comes and gets. Oh, great. Found out today, so. That's well, good. Uh, that's a good, good idea. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have Thanks. a good night. Thank you. They get used to use to books. Appoint some people to a town building advisory committee. But, uh, these people that are just volunteered and stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, um, I had Pat uh, try to contact Carol Morrow and um, Julie Chalfont, and sh uh, Julie said yes. She got okay. back. Okay. Um, good. I think Carol either email bounced back or. I don't know, but I had spoken with her quite a while ago, and I said, oh, you know, are you interested in anything? We're thinking of doing this, and she said she would be interested. And this committee is to what? Well, I, I just have the memo I sent me, to you. Yeah, let me just read just, Can I read it? Uh, sure. I'm just going to read it. Oh, do you want me to read it aloud? Well, this, these are my thoughts. No, I was just wanting to read it. I, was, I think you should read it aloud, because I think it's a really good memo. Well, on. Well, let me just say that yeah. they, they were my thoughts based uh, there on believing that this committee with if you do appoint these folks, which also includes John Pachorek, senior, a junior, and um, Bruce Hunter, uh, they've got some strong ideas about things, and they might shift. You know, it might shift w what they do. But that is what I'm thinking based on what I believe needs to be thought about and done. So. Okay. So uh, there's been long uh, there has been long discussion of, about best ways to move forward with several anticipated building projects. To proceed proactively, I recommend the select board create the town buildings advisory committee. As opposed to a charge at this time, I recommend the following tasks. One, review and recommend whether to move forward with a town buildings assessment, and if so, which buildings to include. Two, determine whether to include available feasibility study funds, 25000 for the community se uh, senior center in a larger study, or proceed with the church as the sole focus. Just sort of going forward with that with yep. this special town meeting. Yeah. And three, uh, building on information prepared by the South County Senior Center consultant Diane Cornwell, um, develop a space needs plan for the Senior Center. Four, assess opportunities for a combined community Senior Center. Five, um, assess feasibility of reuse, maybe, or reuse of church and grammar school uh, Reference 2013 grammar school study. When we talk grammar school, we're talking the the one the senior centers are in right, right now. Um, six, prepare a report with recommendations for the select board. Include whether to create a permanent building committee. See sample charge below. Um, please note there's a strong interest in conducting a town buildings assessment from members of the capital improvements planning committee. Several townspeople have expressed serving on this committee, including Carol Morrow, Julie Chalfont, Bruce Hunter, and John Pachurik, Jr. I recommend a committee of five or seven members. Um, the following has been taken from a larger community with more staff capacity and serves as a model for adaptation. Sample charge, the permanent building committee has general supervision over the design and construction of all public buildings, including the authority to employ professional assistance and uh, subject to specific authorizations by the town to enter into contracts on behalf of the town for the preparation of construction plans and specifications and for the construction of buildings and other, other structures. All such plans and specifications shall be developed in conjunction with and subject to, to the approval of the appropriate committee, board, or department head concerned. 
So, um, so really, we're not worried about the charge or the permanent one at this point. We're talking well, the original. The, the only thing is, I, I guess every time I, I see a charge like this, we, we have a, a permanent building committee that has general supervision over the well, that, design I'm and construction. That for now, I just but, gave it as an example okay. of something right. that I, they, I mean, that's, they might rec recommendation about yeah. a permanent building okay. committee. Yeah. It's very strong, and it's. Uh, it is strong, and yeah, I was like, yeah. Yeah. I just as an but example yeah. of having how other towns do that. Just popped it from some other. Yep. Um, yeah. So I like the top half. Yeah. yeah. And let them kind of figure things out. But if we put the money, if we appropriate the money for the study, you know, I know that there's a lot of interest in that, mm -hmm. um, and. Um, and particularly in the capital planning committee, they were saying yes. Right. You know, jet they we really want to plan. So we can really I, I assess the state it. of our buildings and figure out what our short and long term needs are for maintenance and rehabilitation or whatever. So I would make a motion to support this initial advisory, town buildings advisory committee, and um, would recommend um, or make a motion to appoint Kara Morrow, Julie Chalfont, Bruce Hunter, and John Pachur Jr. as initial members. I second that. That's a good idea. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then the only other thing is, I guess if we're looking for five to seven members, you know, anybody? That's my recommendation. We're looking yeah. for yeah. other people Still involved. Um, so, <laughs> announce that. Yeah, you're I, right. I'm announcing that people, if they're interested in this yes. kind of work, um, we'd be grateful for their help. We we talked about the assessment part, doing our building assessment. Um, it, it will really give us some, on the mm -hmm. capital improvement committee, level mm -hmm. and, and I think it's really important that we, we really get the information so we can make true good decisions mm -hmm. because I mean we just don't have a lot of money and we want to do grants and well and so obviously want to maximize we, we know we want senior housing we know we want a senior center so what's the I mean there has now been discussion back that the you know the current senior center could be renovated maybe and, mm -hmm. and it would be cheaper to put on a elevator and renovate that and so uh, look you know, at all we, needs yeah we need to have information mm -hmm. so we make good decisions right. so yeah. you were interested <laughs> no here no, Gary, we you saw know? Yeah. I missed something the I'm, sorry, up, yeah. <laughs> I'm like Rocky this would be really up your alley I think that it is a good idea that we get an assessment but you know going back to what you just said uh, with the old senior center building, I, I spent a lot of hours, you know, over the years looking at it, and uh, you know, time and money is all you need to fix any problem. Mm -hmm. the, the, the the problem is when you have taxpayers, and mm -hmm. we have this growing. We were at a dinner tonight. You look around there. I mean, it was like you had to be 65 to be in the place, and you know, these people they they got fixed incomes and all mm -hmm. of these things. You know, sometimes you can tear something down or build something new somewhere else. For less money than you can to rehab yep, something. I, I agree. So agree. I agree. Just, we need to that, look at it. That is exactly right. the point. Right. This is why this conversation has been going on for so long. Exactly. And maybe they can, this is to do. have good information. Yeah. So we have a place because for all those people I'm, that were in that I've room. I've just spent hours and hours and hours of people yeah. talking to me and giving me ideas and sure. you know being yeah. passionate about certain yeah. things, but. You know, I, agree I, with that. I, I want to get accurate information block. so we're, we're not making get to the starting block. We're not <laughs> making poor decisions. Yes, yeah, no, no, it's good. I, I agree. That's what board. I said. It's, it's yeah. important yeah. to because we need and we need to, to move ahead in a timely yeah. manner. Yeah. If we're paralyzed because of indecision, that's not a good thing no. either. No. Do we need to? Is there any new business? Well, um, I have There's some things. You know this? That is oh, I'm just that's just additional information. Information things that came in. Um, something from. These are about pulling the tanks? Yes. At, okay. This letter from ATC. About um, pulling the tanks at pulling the, the Cumberland tanks Farms. At the, at the old Cumberland Farms. Um, okay. And then there's other things. There was, oh. Um, introducing the new South yeah. Deerfield water supply. Um, what's his title? Uh, well, he's, he's the new. Chief operator? No. Yeah, let's no, see. No, he's when a, do you a like uh, superintendent. Water superintendent. Water like superintendent. Like superintendent. Like superintendent. I would like to confirm that the South Deerfield Water Supply District has appointed a new water superintendent, Andrew Dunn, effective October 15, 2018. Inform the select board. That's great. Well, I have a meeting Monday, so I'll get to meet him Monday. At a commissioner's meeting? At a commissioner's meeting. Okay. Yep, just to say hi and start developing a, a relationship. So. Don't forget the fountains. 
Yes, that will be on the topic. Thank and you. We'll see where that goes. Or let and it rest. <laughs> or let it rest. Or just, yeah. Right. We'll see how Can that we goes. Can we have another year? This other I don't think, yeah. Signature for this cultural council grant. Let's put a signature on that Oh, bottom. just on the bottom there? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Actually, I wonder if it's is this different than what I just signed? Did uh, I just sign one of these? Yes, it is, because the other one was for something else. Oh, because it had the, the same... The other one, it has, it, this is the state... You got everybody a new trial. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I do have a couple of comments to... Um, uh, maybe I hand, I should have... I handed you this tonight, I when heard. I meant to handle that. Hand uh, this. Unfortunately, we need a couple... Oh. A couple Kit, meet, uh, frosts. I think really I mistakenly it. handed you this okay. when I meant this. What the what is it you signed before? Uh, let me see which one is this. We have a lot of activity going on right now. This is our um, our meta grant that we got. I think we might have mentioned this before. We got twelve thousand five hundred dollars and to hire Beth Greenblatt, who was helping mm -hmm. us. We put it. She put it. I was on the phone with her tonight. Do you We're need putting a, it in the central register to move this landfill? To have him do it. Um, I don't think so. Is this the one where the two guys came Yeah, in? go ahead and do it. <laughs> I make a motion to um, uh, approve Kip signing the... Um, well, actually you don't signing. really because no. it just, he is, he's He's the authorized person. Right. Okay. I think we're good. So, I think that covers all of those. And that's for, just for clarification because things move so fast here, yes. that's for the Landfill so solar project. Correct. That's so is that, technical. But I that's not the two guys that came before us. They would apply then. They would apply then. Okay, yes. so it's We're laying the groundwork for the them. Energy committee members have put an RFP together based on Beth's former RFPs for the town for this. She is shaping that up, mm -hmm. and she and uh, Beth and Diana and David Keith had a phone conference to talk about this RFP because mm -hmm. we have to do an RFP. You can't just give it to somebody. And she is, you know, I don't know, well, you may not know. She is. I don't know. I heard that she's, she's very well me known. Out. I don't That's know. what she, I heard. She knows all this stuff, and she's great. on top of it. And she's she really just sharp. now, because Pat, the Diana, Diana's been out. She has the flu or something. Just put it in the central register, so we, you know, that okay. you know how the energy committee wants us to yeah, get yeah. this done. So, um, and we have to go by a, a, a state timetable. We cannot decide. And, and are they? what you know when on anything. that same yeah. subject yeah. there there was discussion through email i saw about the green communities grant at the school and do we have everything we need for them or do or um i, I, I think what about, i last read you had weighed in and we have to do this right and that's what i said yeah, just so whatever it takes this get is it the done grant right. that david wrote and we got yes. and it's for all for school improvements yep and the contractor and the facilities uh, person are pushing and pushing but it has to go you know, because they'd like to get the boiler in before the cold weather, but right. it's here, the cold and weather. There, <laughs> so and I think there was yes, discussion on like that as what well. we were put. I just want to make sure what we put in there is, like, maybe keep one of the old... The, the thought originally, and what when Bob came yeah. back and said, yeah, that's what we're thinking, is keep one of the big boilers and replace the other big one with two smaller so they can do a lot of different... Combos. You know, combos to get much more energy efficiency. That's for so other that's, people to... Yeah, I'm, I'm not... Okay. Getting into that detail, that detail. Other well, okay. that. Was that was the grant just for the boilers, or was it for just overall energy? No, it was for the boilers. Okay, it named the boilers in the grant, and then there was oh yeah, yes, there, there was there was lighting, some other I, items. I, I, there was some other stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly. I'll, I'll where keep beating the, the drum. I, I mean, with all the money that uh, you spend on modern equipment, stuff like that, mm -hmm. you can never come close to the efficiency of insulation. Right. You know? And that building is lacking. Oh, I know it is. It's you know, all it's glass. Just horrible. So, you know. Did any of you have a chance to look at the the um, capital plan that this? I had? did. I didn't for, know. That you sent? Mm -hmm. You mean the months in one? Yes. Yeah. I did. It was too big to yeah. read. And yeah, I just looked at it. Yeah, but I heard um, it was very well organized. And yeah. I like it. We should. It, it's a good model. Barbara was saying this to me. It would be a good model for us. For and it <laughs> sounds like that would have been Joe. And I Joe Mark yeah. Oh, good. That was going to say it. Just the structure of it, not, Joe. not the meat of it, Kit, necessarily. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Um, so I have a couple announcements, or just comments. Um, last, um, on the 11th, we had uh, the rollout of the EAP with Great River Hydro, the emergency action plan. So finally, after almost 18 months, 
we have um, an emergency 24-7 number to call if we have concerns. And we also have their contact information, and they have our contact information. And it will be set up like the Han Alert system, so it's immediate call out. It's not mm -hmm. um, one group, then another group, and another group. So like in a, um, before under TransCanada, you would have gotten the call, but you would have been, we would have been, because we're at the bottom of the river, in the Deerfield River, we would have been like the third shift call out. I mean, it's not it a huge a amount of time, but it's like mm -hmm. 20 minutes, maybe yeah. half an hour loss. Whereas this is, um, uh, you know, set out immediately in a, in a like the Han Alert. So yeah. um, that's really good. They have the dam operators. Are, they were great. They were wonderful. We had a good turnout. There was good questions. It lasted way beyond the time that they wanted, but um, that's the way it is. Um, then we had last night. Um, Mima came and to work with us as towns to um, work on the annex to the, our SEMP plan, which is our comprehensive emergency management plan. And the annex was about. Um, the flooding of the river and an evacuation plan. So we're working on an evacuation plan because our evacuation plan truly is not functional at the moment. So we're meeting next week, probably um, Tuesday, to get that in shape for the tabletop on November 3rd. And I will follow up with the other towns to make sure everybody is at least some work done so every table that's ready for the tabletop will be able to participate and we'll have a worthwhile hopefully evacuation plan for the whole river okay and so i'm pretty excited about that and homeland security is um, supporting a cyber security conference um, at the end of november or the first week in december i don't have a specific date but um if anyone is interested, I have to tell you, I'm really not interested in going. So, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, you're not, not real tech savvy. Well, uh, no, no, it's because I'm not a computer person. So we should, somebody, we should think about who. I didn't finish my report and I can okay. segue it unless you have more to say no, no, from no, no, that no. to some part of my report. Um, as you know, we're doing um, uh, reviews, re repurpose that grant we got, or a computer IT yeah. grant we got. And we were we had an additional meeting today. We had one previously with um, Northeast IT. Um, <clears throat> it was terrific. I mean, just whole new way of mm -hmm. looking at things, including we do we do have security issues with our mm -hmm. system here. So they're going to be giving us a report and attaching some numbers to that. I put money in the budget for um, various things related Good. to IT. Um, but we'll be looking at more and we'll be able to have stuff for our capital plan as well. Good. Um, well, I just thought, I mean, the, I had been trying to get us be volunteered for the Mass State Police pilot. Mm -hmm. So they know we're concerned and, and that really, I guess, I didn't get the, as much funding as they wanted or whatever. So Homeland Security is, is having them come out and do this big explanation of what like minimal st minimum standards, what you mm -hmm. should be looking for, all this kind of stuff. Because you know this ransom um, mm -hmm. yeah, kind of about stuff. Today, yeah, it's just really huge yeah. problem. And we need to it's reconfigure the way we're set Even up out here yeah. to West protect Mass ourselves better. Yeah. Because yeah. right mm -hmm. now, one computer can would get everybody. So. Yeah. 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 So anyway, we're. But I'm I'm just not a computer person. This is not my thing. So. Yeah. Are we getting more info on those extra servers? Um, yes, we, we, we're we looking at it differently, which is we're going to take FCAT off us entirely because we've been honest, and it's their problem to deal with. So it wouldn't be our cost. They would be on their own IP address and, mm -hmm. and, and off our Comcast account and all of that. Apparently they've been on it. So mm -hmm. And the police and the police want to be fully separate, so they'll be separate, but we'll have a, you know, we'll know exactly who's on our network. And, uh, yeah. So it, it, it yes. All right. Good. I, I there's just a lot of things, and it, and it's so important that we just take this seriously. And um, so I don't know if anyone is. I think this is the most important thing to do when we're doing that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I yeah. absolutely. And I think agree. we'll have some training for employees as well. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, luckily we do have people as pretty astute about things and. Our treasurers in Holyoke yeah, who I will. send ten thousand dollars. 
Barbara got the same email and knew better than to, to respond to that. So um, the, only th the only thing I had is, and I keep writing to you and John, uh, Coder about getting the TIFF committee to meet. I'm getting pressure. Oh, from I'm sorry. I, I haven't even done that. It must um, have come in the junk mail. You, ha you know oh. you have to ch check the junk mail. <laughs> I'm sorry. So when did you want to set up a date? As soon as possible. I haven't heard back from John either. Just I'm getting oh, okay. pressure from Dumont and, and the state. Um, I guess um, Yankee Candle well, or run in here. Newell or Covestra, whatever mm -hmm. it is, also wants to uh, talk with us. So. Well, anyway. just let me know. Just, just let me know. Okay. What day? Well, what's why don't you respond to my email offer sometimes? Okay. Okay. Go to the I'm channel. sorry, I left my um, date book at home. So otherwise, yeah, I'll give you I a date right I now. I can't think right now. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I have a multi hour dental appointment. Fun, and, fun. Um, you know, it's it's been like an, every year or so, and I go, I think I'd rather be here. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, like uh, so I'll be. I I hope to be in on Friday. <laughs> I, have, I have meetings scheduled and all of that. So I'll I'll be back on Friday. Do you have anything else? Uh, we, uh, we're meeting on Saturday to interview candidates. Yes. Uh, uh, Trevor and I for the assistant town administrator position. You got the. We'll bring some stuff for you. You got guys. the um, recommendation from the personnel board. Yeah. By email I just printed those. Relative to the compensation plan, they met last night. Um, so, do you want to talk about it? So, um, so we got an email today um, at the October 15, 2018 personnel board meeting. A motion was made to recommend to the select board not to go forward with a request requested fifth week of vacation time for department heads. The board voted all in favor of said motion. A motion was made to recommend to the select board to one raise grade one step one pay rate by 24 cents to 13.50 an hour for fy 20 um, to be in compliance with the minimum the minimum wage laws um, and two to continue current fy 19 compensation plan for fy 20 uh, with same grade step amounts um, just to clarify that people would get a step they would move a step um, and three, only those employees who are at step 10 in the FY19 will receive a COLA amount to be determined uh, for FY20. The board voted all in favor of said motion. So the two items, well, two motions, but several items. Can we take it under advisement? I just mm -hmm. I want to make sure. Um, so they had no recommendation for the COLA? Uh, uh, no, yeah. Uh, well, they're the two parts are one is no, not to or right. have one, no, and no, the no, second no. is but to, ha but to on only have one for this, but a percentage now that we'll talk no, about I it. I didn't next know, meeting. Um, oh, okay, because I didn't know which index they wanted to. Uh, That's so what I asked. There are so many to choose from. Yeah. So, you know, I reported that, you know, I get, I'm on many listservs, and 2% is pretty much what people are getting all over the state. It's, you know, for FY20 is what they're planning? Do you know? I think we use the index for um, New England. There's many different ones I know. to choose. I'm trying to mm -hmm. think of the name of it, but anyway. Um, All right. I, I would like to take out an advisement just because I want to make sure we have the correct index comparison. Well, we need to make a policy about how you're going to benchmark your COLA from year to year, and that's what I've been I've been suggesting this, um, and figure out which exact you know CPI you're going to use for that. So, um, I'm, I'm, okay. it, it, we it, use the New England one, right? But I, you have I to can't figure remember out what the labor market. I know. That, so. I, I can't remember which one it is. So um, I'll just have to go look at it again because that seemed to be the most accurate for us. Um, not Can we use mine? I made a whole lot less money this year. <laughs> Well, so we I should use a Deerfield one because the cost of living in Deerfield keeps going up dramatically. So. so people, I've I've let town employees yeah, know about exactly. about well, the recommendation, and they the said, well, that's what we've been doing no. up until the point we revised the plan. That's what the town has been doing. Has been doing. I'm um, sorry, I missed that first part. Has been doing uh, colas for the top. Yes. And just uh, steps. And that's what I kind of had thought. What like you would move a step and then. Only the people at the top who could move a step would get a cola. 
Yes. I know last year we did everybody's just to right. catch well, everyone. You, 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 you did both. Right. Right. Yeah, and the year before right. you did a first catch up and then right. the second year. Right. Another, so. And I think, yeah. Okay. So we'll think about that to come up with. Um, yeah. Okay. Is there, Is there any no oh, public sorry. comments? In public? Public? Okay. All right. Motion to dissolve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.